Hey guys, this is Eric with Mindful Trader. I get asked a lot whether or not I send out alerts with the Mindful Trader service when I make trades. And the answer is no, I don't. And there are a couple reasons for it. I, I will say I do send out an email each day with a commentary about my, my trade performance, about you know, the positions in my portfolio, what's changing, and things like that. But it, you know, that email is not intended to be an alert mechanism. It's not like a time specific alert. Um, so let me talk about the reasons why I don't send alerts. One of them is that I feel like if people got these alerts from me, there would be this sense of urgency to react to it. And uh, I've done a lot of research that suggests that that's not true, that there, there doesn't need to be a sense of urgency. And I will also say that when I created this business, I envisioned something where, you know, I'm, I'm doing these swing trades. The trades last, you know, like a full week or so in most cases. And I didn't feel like they're, you know, that, that people would need to be glued to their computers or would need to rush to follow trades uh, uh, because of, of the nature of them. They last a week. There's time to get in. And since I've, since I've done research that suggests that indeed that's true, I just want to make sure that 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 segment of my audience doesn't feel like there's some sort of sense of urgency by me sending these messages. Now, I, I realize that there's um, a variety of segments within you know the subscriber base here at Mindful Trader, and each customer has different needs. And some of them do want the information more quickly, and that's okay. But I just, I don't want there to be a false sense of urgency. I don't have any data that suggests that there needs to be a sense of urgency. There's another reason I don't send alerts. So imagine that I buy a stock, I send out alerts to a large subscriber base. You know, everybody stampedes over and they buy the stock at the same time. That could be considered market manipulation. And that is definitely not part of my game plan here. That is not the basis for this business in any way. And I just don't have any interest in doing anything that could manipulate the market in any way whatsoever. And so I prefer to just do what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I, when I make trades, I post them to the website. I simply post my trades to the website. I'll list it on the website when I've made a trade. So for some people, uh, they are you know, perfectly content just simply checking on that page a couple times a day. Uh, they might check it once you know, in the morning, shortly after the market's opened, and maybe once you know, around lunchtime. And that totally works for them. And again, I've done research that suggests that that might be a perfectly adequate way to follow my trades. So it's very simple and easy. It doesn't take much effort. There's not a sense of urgency. And that is a totally fine way to follow my trades as far as I'm concerned. I realize though that there's some people who do want to be all over the trades and they want to stay on top of them. Uh, I offer a watch list if you want to be in on trades before, you know, before I even announce them on the website. So that's one mechanism you could use, it takes more work, uh, but it's a way that you can be right on top of these trades the minute, the minute that, um, you know, that I'm making the trade, you know, right at the same time that I'm making the trade. There's another, another way you can do it though. There are apps out there, services, that will notify you and give you an alert each time a web page has changed. And so basically, even though I don't offer alerts, you could, if you want, uh, work with one of these apps or services and kind of configure it to alert you each time my web page changes. I don't uh, own any of these apps uh, or services, so you know I'm not the one putting out the alert. This is a third party app or service, uh, and there's a number of them. So, you know, if you decide you want to be notified as soon as possible, there are mechanisms you can use to do that. And I'm going to show you an example of one today. Again, I'm not, I'm not endorsing this app. I'm just saying I tried this app and it works for me. It, it, it worked as far as telling me and notifying me when there was a change to the web page that, that shows my trades. And so I'm going to walk you through how to set that up if you're interested in it. Again, it's not necessarily. It's just for the people who really, really want to know exactly when uh, I make changes to that page and when I've when I've added new trades or closed positions that's what this app uh, uh, might be able to do for you 
So I will go ahead and start showing you now. I have it on my screen here. I Googled it um, and I've already tested it. So I already, you know, have I've seen that it has worked in the time that I've been uh, testing it. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up again now to just show you how you could go about setting it up yourself if you wanted to. So I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's spelled W-A-C-H-E-T-E. -E. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, a French pronunciation, Wachette. I don't know if it's like machete, Wachette. Uh, it's like watching, a watching mechanism. So it might be Wachette. I'm going to call it Wachette to feel like that. I think that might be how it's pronounced. I don't know though. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'll call it Wachetti. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and come in. It's wachetti.com here. And we're just gonna walk through the process here. So monitor web changes. This is, this is what this app does. And uh, again, it's a third party app. So it's kind of, it's not affiliated with me in any way. And there are other services that provide this type of function. Okay, I'm just showing you one that I've found that works. Okay, so I'm going to click uh, sign up here, and I've got my email in here. Oh, got to click the agree to terms and conditions down there. Okay, and now it sent me an email, and in my email it sent me this link to set up a password. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up. I just typed one in there. And you can see here, it says, you don't have any watchets. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and tell you that this is a paid service. And so before I set up any mechanisms to, to watch the Mindful Trader page, first, you know, if you wanna use this service, you would need to pay for the service. So this isn't a free service. This is something you pay for. And Again, I realize that there's a segment of the crowd who, who wants to know this information right away. It costs money to get this information right away and to get it alerted to you um, in this sort of a way. So it's your decision if you want to do this or not. If you really want this sort of a service, I'm showing you how you can go about setting it up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to immediately just go to upgrade because I know this needs to be done. And there's different subscription levels. This one that it's... It, opened up on it's nine dollars and ninety cents a month and you'll see here it checks the web page every 10 minutes you have to decide if that's right for you if every 10 minutes is not fast enough for whatever reason if that just that's not um, what you want then you can slide this to something more expensive this is noticeably more expensive and you can get it every five minutes again you as you know I've done research that shows you could be hours late to the trade and still could end up having a chance to have the same net profit as I do. But if you really want to jump on these right away, just, you know, it just gives you the feeling that you want inside, um, that is okay. This is your decision at this point. If every 10 minutes is, is fast enough for it to check, uh, or if you want something faster. Now, um, this is a key here. Monitor pages behind a login and password. My, my, um, my, my live trades page is behind a login and password. So you will need this. I'll just point out that if you go to a cheaper option, it does not monitor pages behind a login and password. So that means this is, this is the base level you'd have to have to use this app to follow my trades, to get alerts for my trades, I should specifically say. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna go with, and I will say start a free seven day trial and that's kind of a nice feature about this. You can try it out and see if you're okay with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the payment details and I'm gonna pause the video and be right back. Okay, so I filled in the payment information and it's saying I can proceed to the profile page if I want to check it out. But what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go, gonna go to my watchets. It says I don't have any, but I'm now paid for, I'm at the right subscription level. And so I'm gonna go in and set these up. So create a new watchet. And I'm, what I'm going to do is in a separate window, I'm going to get the URL for the live positions page. That's where I post my trades. There's a couple of other pages you may want to follow. I'm just going to at least show you how to do this live positions page. And uh, just to remind you, it's this page right here. You know, this is where I post my new trades. So I'm going to take the URL from this. I'm going to 
right click it and copy it. And I'm just going to paste it right here. So I'm going to click next. And you can see it kind of looks a little bit funky, like it's doing some funky stuff. This is within the Watchetti interface. And I'm now going to log in. So I filled in my login information. I'm going to click sign in and notice it has like a sub menu. It says submit or select. I'm going to click submit and it comes up with this warning. Watchetti has to submit and store your data and password you enter. Do you want to continue? And basically, I think this is a good thing. They're going to store the login information so that they can stay logged in to keep monitoring that page. So I'm going to click the green OK button. That's OK with me. Actually, I put in the wrong password, so I had to redo that process with the correct password. As you can see, it takes me to the, the customer home, the subscriber home for Mindful Trader. Um, you know, if you were to click the My Account button, you know, this is where you go, right? And you can see this is still within the Watchetti interface here. Um, I'm just going to click and navigate to the Live Positions page. It says first link here and click Open. And it's going to open this page. So this is my live positions page. This is where I post uh, new trades. Uh, uh, I have two accounts currently. I have you know my main account and my extra options account. And for any trade you want to follow, or, or for any page you want to follow, where you want you know real time updates when I make changes to the page, you can set up this mechanism. So you can do it for this main account. You can do it for the extra options account. You could do it for the watch list even if you want if you want to be aware every time I make uh, a change to the watch list page. Um, this would be the main page though, I would think for a lot of people, um, this one in the extra options page. So as you can see, it's like, it has this funny highlighting mechanism. What I'm going to do is the place where I post these three trades is right here. Like, uh, you know, these, there's open futures trades, open options trades, open, open stock trades. If you are interested in following all three, you can select all three of these sections. Like I'll do open op open stock trades right now. I'm just I just clicked it, and see how it, the whole thing turned green. And again, you know, as I mouse over, there's like these different things being highlighted. I just mouse the entire section and click it, and it turns green. So if I wanted an alert every time the main account at Mindful Trader had a uh, a new trade or a closed trade. I would highlight these three segments on this page and set this up as my watch it. Uh, if you don't follow the options trades or the futures trades, then obviously you don't need to select those sections. And there's all these other sections down here, but they're, they're, um, those either are kind of different ways of showing the same information or they're information that doesn't tie to the live trades, like maybe it's historic information. So I'm going to go ahead and those are the three I want. So I'm going to click this green button now that I've done that and click monitor. And this is kind of just confirming these things. I'm going to say yes. Uh, what would you like to extract? Text. This is correct. Check the value on this page every and it's set to 24 hours. I'm going to change it to 10 minutes. I want it as fast as it will allow me to have it. Now I'll click next. And notification, notify me when the value has changed to anything. That's what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to go ahead and click add watch it. So now I have this, this is in place. What kind of notification does this give me? This gives me an email notification. That's, that's kind of the native thing that it's set up to do is to give me an email notification. Now, a lot of people want alerts on their phones. And so that requires another step, but it does work. I have uh, an iPhone and it worked on my phone. And all I did is I went, to the app store. I searched for the Watchetti app. Uh, the app itself is free. Again, you have to pay for the service first to get the service set up. And it's, you know, that $9.90 a month for the one that I, you know, did an example of here. But if you get the app and then you log in with the same login you created here, then the, you'll also get notifications on your app. And this is, this is what I tested, you know, over the last few days here is every time I made a, you know, I posted a new trade or posted that I closed a trade. I wanted to make sure that indeed I was getting notifications on my phone and in my email. And I was, it, it was, it was perfect in that regard. I mean, I, there wasn't a single time that it failed to alert me. Um, so at least on this, on these last few days that I've tested it, this seems like a pretty dependable app 
for this particular type of service. There are other apps out there that do this sort of function. I know, for example, Page Probe is another one that scans web pages for changes. And I even did a video about Page Probe. Uh, that one has a different notification functionality, though. That one, uh, it's a free app, but it doesn't, you know, it's not built to send you notifications by phone, for example. It only sends notifications through a desktop interface. Uh, so that one's, you know, that one's different. And Wachetti is the only one I've tried that actually sent me, you know, audio notifications through my phone successfully. And that's why I featured in this video. But there are other apps. You're welcome, of course, to explore them. This is really up to you if you want to pursue, pursue using one of these apps. Um, I just wanted to at least show one example of one that, that does successfully send alerts. So I hope that helps. Uh, I do also want to say just no matter what your preferences are for you know tracking my trades, whether you like to use a watch list or whether you want to set up alerts or whether you're okay just kind of checking the site a couple times a day, regardless of your preferences, I totally support you. I mean, whatever you want, I will be there to help you and do anything I can to make it, you know, make it work for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me anytime. Uh, email is probably the best. It's eric, E-R-I-C, at mindfultrader.com. Thanks, guys.